Have you ever wanted to get into vibe coding, but you just didn't know where to start? Well, all you need to do is go across to Claude AI, enter in your prompt, and then Claude will create the app for you. I'm just gonna keep it super simple and say, hey, can you create me a ping pong game where I can use the up and down arrow keys on my keyboard to move around. I can choose between different models. The Opus 4 is actually the best model for coding. The Sonnet 4 is just as good for what we're gonna be doing within Claude and it uses less tokens. So I'm gonna go for Claude Sonnet 4. And I also have a button here, which is called extended thinking. If I wanted to build out a very complicated app or do some crazy debugging, then I would flick this on and I would use extra tokens to do some extra thinking and get me better results. But for now, I don't need that. Now I'm just gonna hit run and Claude is gonna go away and start coding out the app for me. It's gonna create an artifact, which is this little thing here, which contains all the code and that's going to be shown in this right hand panel now once this is done so once all the code is finished being generated by claude this right hand panel is going to turn into a little preview screen and we'll be able to actually interact with this app and then start versing the computer for our ping pong game and there we go this is the game so now on the right hand panel where we once had the code we're now able to actually preview the actual code running directly within the browser and we get to interact with our ping pong game now you can actually build out much more complicated games than this or different apps and if you ever wanted to inspect the raw code files then you can just click this little button up here and go back into the code mode go through here you can ask AI questions and say, hey, can you explain the code for me? Can you tell me why we did this or that? Or you can go back into here and just say, hey, can you, for example, here, can you add some difficulty modes to make it a little bit easier for me to win against the computer? Because apparently the computer always wins.